Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning how to add and subtract polynomials. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help, you use Minute Math. The best way to get into learning how to add and subtract polynomials, I think, are is to just do it. So adding, you'll see the word the sum, right? Find the sum as a prompting word here. So we're going to find the sum of these two polynomials. So we have example two here. Okay? We're going to find the sum. We're given 12x squared plus 9x minus 21, excuse me, plus 4x to the third power plus 8x squared minus 5x plus 20. Okay. So we have two large polynomials, and we're just going to add them together. So the way I, I like to first um, deal with adding polynomials is to rearrange from highest degree to lowest degree. And our addition property allows us to rearrange that. So um, let's just start going through. The highest degree I see is to the third power right here. So I'm going to put a dot below 4x to the third to signify that I'm bringing it down here. So 4x to the third power plus, now let's deal with all the x squareds. Um, there's no other x to the third, so x squareds, I see two of them. And to make it easier, I'm going to actually put parentheses here. Um, so we have 12x squared, brought that down. We have another 8x squared plus 8x squared. Make sure you bring the whole term down. Okay. And there's nothing else with squareds. So now we're going to deal with the normal x's. Again, same thing. I have a 9x. Bring it down. Don't forget your dot. And then we have a minus 5x here. Bring that down. Don't forget the dot. And then lastly, we have just the constants negative 21. Mark it off. Plus 20. Mark that one off. And just take a moment to make sure you put a dot on everything in the, on the first line here. And that helps make sure that you brought everything down. That's like It's worth taking that extra literally two seconds just to check that you did that so you didn't forget something. So now let's simplify. We just combine our like terms here. There's nothing to, to combine with 4x to the third. So we have 4x to the third right here. Now 12x squared plus 8x squared. They come together, we add the coefficients, 12 and 8 is 20, so we have 20x squared here, plus we have 9x minus 5x, okay, so again the coefficients, adding our like terms, 9 minus 5 is 4, so we have a 4x here, and lastly, negative 21 plus 20 is a negative 1, which we can write with just subtraction here, so instead of writing a negative 1, I'm just going to write a minus 1, and we will be done. We got it. We have our answer, 4x to the third plus 20x squared plus 4x minus 1. So let's go with another example here, but for subtraction, right? We're going to subtract polynomials here. So again, we have another problem here. We have 7x to the fourth minus x squared plus 6x plus 1 minus 5x to the third power minus 2x squared plus 3x plus 2. Okay? So, make sure I have the whole problem right. All right, so there's a few ways to go about this. Some people like to distribute this minus sign, and that's the way I like to do it sometimes, to all terms first, then we add, and then it's based on an addition problem, you just add your polynomials. I'm gonna kind of follow the same pattern we did up here, but what I'm gonna do is just have that subtraction in there and we'll deal with each term individually. So let's go with our highest degree. Highest degree we have here is really that 7x to the fourth power. Okay, so we have 7x to the fourth, with degree four, it's the highest one, and nothing else has a fourth power here, so it's by itself. Now the next highest degree is what we have, well, hmm, what do we have here? We have a 5x to the third, third power highest degree here, 
Okay, so we're gonna bring that down, but notice since it's we're subtracting this whole thing, we have to subtract that 5x to the third here. So we're gonna subtract a 5x to the third and bring that down. So don't forget that minus sign. This is the second way of doing it. It could be tricky, so it's gotta be careful and take your time here, okay? Now, the next one here, uh, we have x squared. So we have two of them, so I'm gonna add, put my parentheses and make sure I bring down this minus sign minus x squared, put a dot to show I brought that term. And then now here's where it becomes tricky, okay? We're subtracting here a negative 2x squared. So I'm going to write the subtraction that's going on right here, but then we have a negative or minus 2x squared here. Second one, right, 2x squared, and then finish my parenthesis. There's nothing else with degree 2 here. Now tricky, remember, subtracting a negative, same thing as adding a positive. So we can do that. So I like to rewrite it as such. Lastly, or not lastly, we're adding here the single degree. Uh, we have 6x first. Again, put your dots to show you brought, brought it down. And then we have minus 3x, the subtraction sign here. And then 3x right there, brought it down, and we're good. Lastly, we have just a 1, so a plus 1 right here minus and two and make sure we put our dots to show we brought everything down take again a moment to make sure we covered every single term which we did and now we can go simplify by combining our like terms nothing with degree four so we have 7x to the fourth power minus here 5x to the third power no other like terms and now we have negative x squared plus 2x squared which Really, negative 1 plus 2, again, look at the coefficients. We're combining our like terms. We just have a positive 1. So we have positive x squared. And again, note that I don't put a 1 in front of the x squared. And again, 6x minus 3x. 6 minus 3 is 3. So we just have a 3x here, combining our like terms. And lastly, we have 1 minus 2, which is a negative 1. We add that, but... Uh, add a negative 1, which is the same as subtracting a 1. So we subtract a 1 here. And we have our answer. 7x to the 4th minus 5x to the 3rd plus x squared plus 3x minus 1. So now you've seen some examples on how to add and subtract polynomials. If you like this video, please hit the like button down below and please subscribe to our channel. And let me know in the comment section below if this was helpful. Uh, that allows YouTube to make uh, help us make more videos and we can keep educating viewers like you. So, as always, thanks for watching. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help, you use Minute Math.